This is the very first episode of a new series where I will be reviewing some Etsy shops that you guys submitted in one of my previous posts on my YouTube channel and also on Instagram. In these videos I don't want to critique but I would like to give some constructive criticism. First we are going to talk about the shop page. We will take a look at the details and how well is the information organized on the main Etsy shop page. And then we are going to take a look at the few at the few listings and we will take a look at what this person is doing really well and what uh, needs some improvement. And again, I am saying this as constructive criticism. I don't want to upset anyone, but uh, this is only my opinion. And without any further, this is today's uh, Etsy shop, Rooted Art Printables. I think it is a very nice looking shop. Looking at the header, it looks very professional. They also included their 10% discount code right there. And I wonder if you are watching this video, uh, Becky, then please uh, let me know in the comments if you created the clip art sets or you purchased them because I think it is very cute and it looks very good. I'm referring to the flowers and the leaves and those clip art, set, clip art elements. I think they look very good, very autumnal and because the right flowers are a trend right now I think that this is a very good niche you could get in. Let's take a look at the other elements of the shop as well. They ha only have five star reviews that is very good. Let's see the announcements. They, they included two discounts code in their announcement section but let Let's close this. You can only see the 10% discount code when you come into the shop on a desktop computer like I am doing right now. If you would like this 40% of discount code to be visible as well, you should uh, rearrange a little this text a little bit. Now let's see, they have 48 items, not as many. When did you open the shop? Uh, because it, if it was this year then you have a decent amount of items. And the shop is quite optimized for fall, uh, for the fall season. And now it would be the time to start adding some Christmas, winter, holiday themed items as well. They have four categories plus the on sale category that Etsy adds automatically. We will take a look at some listings in a second. I just scrolled through. The mock-ups look very clean for the first time when I see it. Uh, just a disclaimer, I didn't look at the shop before I started filming this video so that I can give you my honest first experience opinion on this. This review has a very nice image, I really like this. Five star reviews, that is very good. You have, you have a description. Yes, it says here you opened the shop this year, so very good job, you have a very good looking shop. Q&A is very detailed, that is a very good thing. Now let's take a look at a few listings. We will start with some of the featured items and then we will scroll down and select a few other ones. Let's take this one because I like this and this one I like a lot. Not necessarily because of the Bible verses, but I like the style that it has on the image. And let's see this one. No, let's see this one. Yes, I see that you started adding some holiday items. Very good. Until the end of October, you should add as many holiday themed items as possible. And let's check some of these Bible verses as well. The posters themselves look really good. I like the fonts you chose and I like that you are using two kinds of fonts. Let's see the video. Can you please tell me in what software did you create this uh, video collage? I really like this mock-up. It is a very good thing that you invested in something like this because it gives a real-life feeling of how your items would look in someone's home. These look very professional as well. This image is very good and the key to successful digital product shops where you are displaying the different sizes that are included in this bundle. And some other informational pictures. But I really like this one. Let's see some of the description, titles, keywords. 
Christian wall art is a good keyword. Let's check it on uh, Sales Samurai and see what comes up. Until Sales Samurai is thinking, let's go back to that listing. And see what do we have in the description. You have the title here. So if you would like to offer personalization, there is an option on Etsy where with a, that you can activate. It's a box in the listing section where you can add some personalization uh, options. It is very good that you have the disclaimer right up here. Some descriptions, the, si the size options, good. How to download them. Yes, and some more details. Now let's go back to Sales Samurai and let's see what are the results there. So Christian Wall Art is a long tail keyword that is very good. The competition is very high, so it is very hard to rank in. But you are doing a great job with the images and I think that uh, this could rank really well if you optimize the SEO aspect of it. So let's see the terms. Christian Wall Art has a relatively high click to rate that is good. Anything above 10 is really, is really good. Uh, it has some Google search as well. This is not interested, but as you can see that the competition is very high. You are aiming for the main keyword that it has a very high competition. So let's see what else do we have here. This is just a variation of the same keyword. Wall art for Christians. It has an even higher uh, click-through rate that is good and a low competition. So you can consider using this keyword instead of uh, Christian wall art, but you should keep that one, just not in the first place. Digital wall art for Christians, this is another good one because it has an even higher click to rate, 16%, and it has again low competition. These keywords could rank really well. You could go for neutral Christian wall art as well because, in my opinion, your items with this kind, with this kind of uh, floral style is very neutral, and neutral is trending at the moment. Okay, let's check out another item. This one looks very good as well. Let's see the keyword uh, scripture print. Let's add to Sales Samurai. Until Sales Samurai is thinking about that keyword, I will check the images and the descriptions. Um, you should add the listing video to this one as well. Uh, the other one looked really good, so within a few minutes you can create one for this one as well. But your mockups look top-notch, I really like it, it's very clean, very good looking. Let's see the keyword. It again has high competition, but the click-through rate is quite high. Let's try to find another keyword that, may, that has low competition, but a high click-through rate that we can optimize for. Scripture for print, scripture pin. So as you can see, scripture was print and put that. So you could use the word digital scripture prints that has a low competition, custom scripture print if you're willing to personalize and customize the scripture that, that you put on your products. Scripture prints has a little bit higher than scripture print, but both keywords, as you can see, have high competition. Let's see other tags. Scripture wall art could be a good one printable wall art that is a given tag in this case and it has high search volume but scripture print has a relatively lower search volume but it's still something so don't get rid of that keyword you can check all of these keywords in sales samurai or in the tool that you use i recommend to use sales samurai because as you can see it gives you a detailed uh, analysis of the keywords that can be optimized for but you should add all of these keywords to Sales Samurai to see which one would bring you the most traffic and the most clicks and consequently the most amount of sales. These look really good as well. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm a sucker for anything hand-painted clip art uh, related to the digital product. You have the video here that is very good. These look really nice. I like them a lot. Let's see, Thanksgiving wall art prints. The description is kind of the same, except you change the title section and added here a few more keywords. But I really like the images, they look really good. 
let's see what was the situation with the keywords. The competition again is very high, but the click-through rate is almost 14%, which is considered really good. You can pause the video here and you can try to optimize for a few of these uh, keywords if you would like. If you're interested in Seal Samurai, I have a discount code for you. And for 20% off your subscription, you can use the code MSHE. The link is down in the description box. So yes, I would just check all of these keywords that they are viable and they will bring uh, valuable traffic into your shop and valuable eyes for your listings. These look very nice. I see that you purchased some uh, more holiday themed mock-ups as well, which is very good. Very minimal, neutral, great, these are trending. And all you need to do is now to optimize the listings for keywords that have high click-through rate, high search volume and low competition. That is the ideal keywords that you should find. And these are more of the classic scripture prints or scripture quotes. I'm not sure how well are these selling. You can uh, drop a comment down in the description box and tell us how the number of percentage of your sales that is coming from these basic uh, scripture prints and the percentage that is coming from the ones that is using the uh, holiday or fall themed clip art. That was it for today's Etsy shop review. I have quite a few shop name submissions, so I will continue this series until I run out of shop names. I have at least 15. I'm planning to do this series on a weekly basis. And if you would like your shop to be featured, then drop a comment down below with your shop name. Thank you very much for sticking around this long. If you are still here, comment down below Etsy success so that uh, other people can find this video and they can submit their shop for review. Don't forget to use the code MSF for 20% off Seal Samurai. And the link for the waitlist for my course, uh, Passive Income with Printables, is down uh, in the description box as well. Please consider signing up there. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.